There are so many unfair stereotypes about Latinos out there. This just in. Studies show Latinos are the biggest and loudest partiers in every neighborhood. There is absolutely no data to support this claim. But doesn't it just feel true? You know what really bothers me about that stereotype? That I can't go to all those parties. I mean, what can I say? Latinos are very passionate people and we love to celebrate. So when you combine those two things, passion with celebration, oh, it doesn't matter what we're celebrating. We're going all in. From the day we are born to way beyond our deaths, Latinos' lives are a constant source of fiesta. Boom boom pow, 24 seven, it's in our roots. As far back as 3,000 years ago, the Aztecs spent a month celebrating their ancestors because death was seen as an important part of life and the afterlife. Then in the 16th century, the Spanish colonized Mexico, introducing Catholicism and All Souls Day. Like so many traditions in Latin America, the Aztec rituals and Christian traditions were mashed up together to what we know as Dia de los Muertos. As Latinos, our calendars are always full time. I got uh, Diego's Fiesta, Cousin's Quinceañera, and today at 11, we got church. Guys, what time is it? 11. It's 11, I gotta go, I'll be back. <laughs> We're back. You see, religion plays a central role in many celebrations in Latin America. On January 6th, we have Dia de los Reyes Magos to commemorate the three wise men bringing gifts to baby Jesus. See, before Santa came along, it was common to exchange gifts on this day and not Christmas Eve. And then in February or March, on top of my birthday, you have the carnival. Legends has it that the word carnival comes from the Latin carnevale, which means farewell to meet. This explains why this holiday started as a food festival to kick off the Catholic 40 days of Lent. Even saints have their own day of celebration, like La Virgen de la Caridad del Cobre in Cuba in September and La Virgen de Guadalupe in Mexico in December, which is massive. And as far as family gatherings, I mean, where do we start? There are birthdays for young and old, baptisms, weddings, and the Latin American favorite of all, ton, 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 the quinceañera. I'm a pretty st a stiff dancer. I'm a reactor. I remember going to so many quinceañeras. It was the best year. Every other weekend, kabam, 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 the golden age. And always, everyone's invited. When there is a fiesta, there is no such thing as a stranger. So if you've never been to an authentic Latino celebration, run, do not walk to make friends with a Latino, and you'll definitely be invited to the next pachanga. What's the best party you've ever been to? Oy. First of all, let me really tell everybody that when I started being in LA, I started realizing we as Latinos, we do party way more. There was one in Zacatecas uh, when I was just barely, barely starting. The owner of the nightclub, he opened, how do you call it? Behind the kitchen where all the liquors are, where they sell it. And he was like, you know, just give it to everybody. And he just gave us like a supermarket cart and we packed it with all of them and the owner came with us and we just walked to the club for the first time in Zacatecas. And just seeing like everybody just celebrating, like the not caring vibe was a lot of fun. How many family parties do you go to every year? <laughs> I don't know, more than, more than 50. Big family, big two families, mom, dad. Is it fun or is it something you consider like an obligation? Like oh no, it's always so fun. I feel like there's endless stories of different occasions, but I'm gonna share you a phrase that I love. A hangover will only last a couple days, but the story will last forever. <laughs>